Since I've established myself a new base, I definitely think it's time to start a mine. And so I've sort of expanded this off, off to the side here. And I'm going to work my way down until I get this mine established. And by the way, this is what the white lights from ours uh, Novu looks like. Kind of nice. And I'm working my way down here. And I think what I plan on doing is I want to slowly but surely make this my tool, like the way that I mine. I want this to be how I can do that. And there's actually several upgrades. We could put fortune on this. There's all kinds of cool things that we can do with this book, especially now that we've upgraded it. We can even, I think, put AOE and mine three by three areas. Like it's, it's going to be pretty nice. And so I just got to get myself a nice little mine down here and then we'll work our way back up from there. I cannot believe what is down here. Oh my. The insanity that just look at that. How are we going to get down there? That's another question. There's all I mean, just from what I can see here. There is all kinds of adventure waiting to be happening. What is that? It's like fires and stuff. Oh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I'm going to continue making my way down here. Hopefully um, I can I can get this to work. We do have cork in here so i think it's going to be possible for us to place blocks down below ourselves, which is a, a nice feature of cork i can tell you this is pretty spooky going down here super spooky but look at all of this there's so much potential down here <laughs> oh my gosh and this was right underneath the spot that i chose wow look at i mean just the vastness of that over there alone is incredible i'm thinking for this area a new spell must be made so we do have an empty slot over here i'm thinking about doing projectile and then conjure a light and we'll set that to white here and save and go go common like shoot light <laughs> something simple like that and this should Give us a projectile. The spell may not be empty. Wait, hold on. Let's go to that spell. Shoot light. Is that just not considered a... No, no. I, I had it down. Projectile. Light. Color. White. Save. Ah, so it just reset when we did that. Create. There we go. So now we should get like a projectile. Oh, and we can shoot it. That's so much nicer because we can light up the surrounding areas. Down here, sort of preventing a ton of mobs from spawning. Oh, and be able to see a whole lot more of the area for sure. My gosh. <laughs> that thing right there whispers in your ears. And it's incredibly creepy and catches you off guard. And seriously gave me chills. And I think it's after me. Oh boy. Okay, I think that was a good choice. Spawning in our golem. I, it. Oh, did it kill it? Oh gosh. This is an ender pearl. That re th that thing is incredibly creepy with the whispering. I I, I didn't want to spawn in the golem because the golem. Can be kind of a pain, but whew, that was definitely needed. I can't believe we have perfect access to this amethyst geode. Oh, this is this is amazing. This whole area down here is just just full of stuff. And we barely even touched the surface. I'm just like preparing things to get us a, a nice trek over here. Like I'm just preparing pathways. Wow. Just Look at this. That's so cool. Oh, we've got a long walk ahead of us. Wow. There's just so much stuff. Like, I wonder if the vines will interfere or anything. Look at this. Okay. Wait, what is this? What? It's like a little village. Of course, there's a glow squid. Of course, I'm going to take some of that glow squid there. Look at this little thing. 
It's adorable. There's little houses. What? Okay, there's more globes. A bunch of paper and bread. Look at these beautiful builds. Like, I, I love this kind of stuff. Here's another little cottage. It's even got an armor stand on it. A little cute bed. Sweet berries? I don't know if we have sweet berries yet. There's a little farm back here. Wait, is that a villager? It's a regular villager back here. Just chilling. Crafting table. Is this like a village? Underground in this massive area? Look at this little bridge that leads over to this little cute house. I mean, the terrain has definitely sort of destroyed some of this village. But yeah, there's... Wait, who are you? There's definitely someone back here, for sure. Aha! It's this guy. It's the Dwarven Blacksmith. How are you, sir? Wonder if he's here just because of this village? Oh gosh, my hair goes making so much noise. Wow. I mean, that's a... That's some kind of structure as well. Or it was a structure. Yeah, it was like a library. And that leads down... Ah, uh, but I think the terrain has definitely destroyed a lot of this. But man, this is beautiful. Over here is an... Oh my gosh. Which I believe this should be completely covered in water. I think I can walk on this, right? I don't take fire damage. This is all prismarine, right? It's all prismarine. But inside of this... I know is water, but... It's actually like... It's like a, uh, a underground mine shaft, but it's just full of water. By the way, right here, do you see the stoneling? If you shoot it with this, it actually kills it and you get the drop. That's awesome. What are... <gasps> Don't look at it. Is that Medusa? <gasps> snake skin. It's just a snake woman. I, I didn't know if that was Medusa or not, but that was still super scary. And then take a look at this. What? All of this just underground here. Oh, this is a... Look at this beautiful cave. And we have this right at our fingertips. A harpoon crossbow. Another fox vest. I don't think we need the fox vest. But I'll take the name tag. The potion of regeneration. What are these? These are so colorful. I don't know, but I'm taking them. Wow, man, you look, you look bad. About half health. But this right here, this is definitely a modified mine shaft. And it's just out in the open. Look at that. There's all, oh my gosh, there's just so much around. Look what I found off in the distance. I don't know if you're going to be able to handle this, my dude. I mean, I, I believe I can handle it. But it's... Yeah, apparently it's a furious one. Whatever that's supposed to mean. We could potentially take a lot of damage from this. I mean, I have the sword. I know how to fight this thing. Let's do it. Oh boy. We just basically have to avoid him. Don't hit him. Stop. I'm waiting for my iron golem to just get wrecked. There we go. <laughs> That's not how you fight a iron golem. This guy takes precision. And us to die, of course. Yeah, that's that was no good. At least getting back over to him wasn't the biggest problem in the world. Woo, let's get out of here. Just for a second. I don't know if he can get out or not. Yeah, it's going to be... Yeah, I don't think so. Or maybe? I I don't know. We've got to get all of our stuff put back on. Okay, let's try this again. I think we can get in for the fight. This time... Don't let that swing get me. I mean, that's going to hurt, obviously. I just wonder if that has 
How was that able to hit me? It wasn't supposed to. There we go. Perfect. That's how we're supposed to kill this guy. Yeah, we stay away. Ow. Whew. All right, bud. I am running. All right, couple more swings. Like this boss is no joke. Like it, you, you just seen it one shot me in diamond and netherite gear. It, it can totally do that. But you want it to swing on you. There we go. Get a good shot. Oh, at the back. For some reason it didn't let me get the shot. <laughs> All right, we almost got it. Boom. Oh, oh, double swing, triple swing. Oh, it's so cool looking. What a cool looking, Mousy's Mobs has some of the coolest looking bosses, I swear. There we go. Are we gonna get it? Almost. Oh, literally one. <gasps> it's going to give it to us. Yes, we killed the rot knot. <laughs> get wrecked, fool. Even though it killed us once. I mean, do we really get to claim it as winning <laughs> if we've died once to it? Oh, yeah, we get its tools. Yes. How cool looking are we now? Oh, yeah. So now that I'm back from the mine, I've still got to go ahead and place all the stairs down there, but it is looking a lot nicer down there. I was thinking while I'm doing that, it's going to be so much easier for me to have some sort of storage network set up. So I went ahead and finished up this room. Of course, this is only the start of our storage system, and I'm going to be hooking everything into what is called simple storage networks. I've got to get this done, and it's, it's a very simple thing to do. So for each chest that we have linked here, I'm going to have to get my storage link cable hooked into this bad boy. So one there, there for each chest needs a link cable connected to them. And then connected to those cables is going to be a regular network cable. Seems pretty neat. Like uh, all of this stuff put together, like it seems like a lot, but it's, it's really not. And uh, there is a texture pack that is basically changing simple storage network to look more medieval which I'm kind of digging. It's actually, it looks really good. I like, I like what they did here. So I'm gonna continue carrying this on. Of course, we have three chests stacked, so I may need to make a few more link cables from what it looks like. I think I have more than 16 chests here. And all of that's gonna run back down here into a storage system. I'm gonna show you how that links up. So all I'm doing here is I'm running my cables directly underneath. I need a storage network route, which is gonna be basically like the controller that controls it all. And as you can see, it tells me when we right click how much is in here, what we have, how many storage slots, and then all we have to do, put a request table right on top of this bad boy, and bam, we have all of our items nice and accessible right here. This is so much easier. And of course, all of these items get stored in here and are searchable just like JEI. At this point, we're definitely mana upgrading, or I guess you can call it mana. It's actually source. But either way, I went ahead and made the ring of greater discount. This should be able to fit inside a ring slot. I do have a couple of them. Yeah, ring right here. So hopefully this will help us when mining and uh, hopefully get a uh, get us a nice setup going here. Um, so I made the glyph of AOE. Hopefully that'll make us be able to mine in a three by three. Uh, glyph of smelting, which will allow us to smelt items potentially if we want to set that up. Ring of extract, which is really nice. That right there is silk touch. And then, last but not least, Fortune. Of course, Silk Touch and Fortune cannot be combined, but this will allow us to modify our break here. So currently we have Touch and Break, uh, but we should be able to AOE our break. So if I create this, um, just put this to the test. Let's head down into our mine. So upon Break and Touch, hopefully this is going to make a three by three area. It's a two by two area. So, all I have to do, I believe, is AOE up again. And that will let me mine in a 3x3. Three three. Perfect. Just like this. So basically where I'm looking is going to let me mine in a 3x3. Three three. But notice my mana. We are going to have a bit of a cost there. So, you know, while I'm able to do this, I'm still going to be dealing with that issue. I also think you can hit Alt. And depending on the number that you have set to this, for example, 3. 
If I hit Alt and 3, I believe that should set to the key. Actually, we may have to change that. There should be some hotkeys that allow us to automatically switch to the certain spell. Nope, I'm completely wrong. It's this directly, but that'd be nice. Uh, now you can, I guess, I, I guess I could make a wand that would do specific things. But another thing I can do is I believe I can hit this with Silk Touch. So if I put this on here, now this is going to cost a bit more. Um, we were getting cobblestone. This should now be stone. Yeah, it's going to cost a, a little bit more, it looks like. Interesting. And we could also have multiple spell books. So we could have one spell book that's for lights and one spell book for this. But of course, that's going to be a bit expensive. But we can also make a, just a standard spell book for lights. We need a spell book technically that holds like tier one spells and then uh, just have this one for the upgraded mining and stuff like that. That should be actually really nice and shouldn't shouldn't pose much of a problem. So I can definitely tell you while wearing the mage armor and we haven't even upgraded to the next tier of mage armor, which is going to require a bit more blaze powder. This is working perfectly. Now, if I silk touch this stuff, remember, I can make a special spell that is going to give me hopefully fortune three or high. Well, actually, no, it should be exactly fortune three because we should be able to make a separate one. Uh, let's just say the shoot light, for example, let's remove this. We can go. All right, I'm going to touch then break and then we can do fortune, 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 and we can technically go fortune higher. I don't know how much this is going to be. <laughs> Like, is this even possible to do fortune this high? We'll find out. Um, but we just have to go to that spell, right? Okay, so that costs too much mana. So let's break it down until we can actually use this. Because it might end up being very expensive for mana. The more I think about it. Aha. So we were able to break there at that point. So that gave me six redstone for the one redstone. So I would say that's... Pretty nice. That's eight redstone dust. So I think this may be higher than fortune three itself on that break. Cause that's, that's pretty significant there. So I'm out and about flying around and I want to test this guy. I want to test this. Does the iron golem work? I, I, I know this thing could potentially kill me. It does look pretty rough. There we go. Iron golem, get him. I want to see. The Iron Golem should be able to completely wreck this dude. Like, without me even doing anything. Get him, dude. Come on. Show me. Show him. Yeah, show me what you got. Surprise this thing isn't show. Oh, my gosh. Good job, Golem. <laughs> 100% just wrecked that dude. Wow. Yeah. Uh, golem for the win. I think even for dragon fights, Golem, you're 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 like the best thing for this. So as I was flying around, I stumbled upon this absolutely beautiful biome. I don't think I've ever seen an ice biome this good looking. Like there's all these structures. This looks just absolutely fantastic. Seems to be having an issue loading in, but I mean, just let's look at this. I mean, it's gorgeous. So I am back in the nether and I know that this is a very dangerous place for me to be, but I do need more blaze. Like blaze is something I am definitely in need of getting. So I'm slowly but surely. Oh man, I've earned the blessings from Hades. Your high favor. Oh, very nice. Hopefully with some fire resist that I have, we can withstand this. Now, if we get another crazy blaze that it blows up things, we, we can't, we can't do that. We can't do that. Is there any way for me to prevent explosion damage? Maybe if we just claim this general area, that might actually prevent explosion damage, which could be kind of nice. <laughs> As explosions is probably my uh, my worst enemy at the moment. So yeah, I guess I'm going to be farming some blaze rods for a bit. So while I'm in the nether, I might as well try and take this thing on. I've seen a couple of them. This one in particular looks 
the most intriguing. So if I can land on the doorstep here, we might be good. I'll make sure to have Mr. Golem available because, as you can see, even right here, there's a blaze spawner. But there's a lot of loot. Look at this. Oh my gosh. We get the runes. So that's what I want the most. The runes. Look at look at my golem go though. Oh dude, my golem is going to wreck this place. Oh, 100%. And I'm definitely going to be breaking these particular spawners as they're all over the place. So I'm not super worried about them. Oh boy, that looks awful. Well, there is an orbit and launch. There's more books. Oh, this is going to get nice real quick. There's a ring right here. We have a bunch of ring slots, so I'm kind of... Okay, Nether's contract. Piglins will be neutral to the weather or where? Piglins point to the nearest bastion. Oh my gosh. Yes. I will keep that in the ring slot. Let's get rid of these spawners here. Come on, Golem. Do your thing. Go after these guys. Oh yeah, there's a spawner right here. Get him. They're giving me the wither. Ooh, these things are the grossest. Oh, it's so nasty. All right, some nice loot there. Let's go to the other side. Man, There's this is actually nice. Look at this. So this does hex, harm, extend time. So these are things that we actually don't have access to yet, I don't believe. Hex, is that a, like a uh, over time effect? Yeah, this is a project hex. All right, we got to find the way to get upstairs. There's a way to get upstairs. Maybe we should just make our way up there. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll let this bad boy get up there. Let's use this spell. I don't think it did anything, but. It seems to be working, whatever's going on up there. <laughs> I love it. Oh, thank gosh. Thank, thank goodness for that, uh, that fire resist. Because we would be taking so much damage right now. If it wasn't because of that. Oh, these, these hurt us. All right, let's get up there. Oh, there's a wither skeleton. Get him, dude. Get him. Get him, man. There's so much going on right now. Is it all the spawners that are up there? I might need to fly up there. Self-launch. That might be the best thing to do is just to, to fly up there. So this, this should definitely work. There we go. I just got to get to here and break that spawner. Yeah, once we're in here, we're in here. Get rid of all of these guys. Our health looks pretty good so far. As long as we can maintain all of this. Get rid of this nasty spawner here. A couple of other nasty spawners. And I think there should be a spawner in here. Maybe not. Does this go higher? Oh, wow. It does go higher. Is there anything up here? Ah, yes. There's still spawners up here. I need to make sure to get rid of these. Other than that, I think we're free to loot. And boy, does there seem like a lot of loot here. Oh, my. Oh, <laughs> yes. So much loot. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, my gosh. I was wondering if there was anything like inside of here. Oh boy. Um yeah. How about how, how about some ancient debris? Uh yes, please. I will take more of those. Um 100% like why <laughs> I mean we already got netherite, might as well like grab some of this while we're here. I mean, you know you've done well when you your bag looks like this. I mean, look at all these interesting things that we've got. I've got to see what this does. Orbit, launch, amplify, delay, knockback, amplify. 
I, I have no idea what this does. Ignite Explosion Amplify AoE. This looks like a TNT, so it might be a good way to mine. Um, but yeah, there's so many other cool things. We ended up getting, so, so something that I definitely want to search for are these. So we ended up getting this, which goes in our hand slot, which apparently gives us Berserk, plus 7% dealt to, and 2% incoming damage per hit. Okay, and 2% incoming damage per hit dealt in three seconds. Okay, so I'm guessing, I'm, I'm kind of understanding this. So it like adds up maybe damage that you've received from incoming damage and allows us to put that back on the user. And that goes in our hand slot for right now. But man, and we've also, we got some other stuff like the purple storm, the bow, and some of these are, are a lot nicer so uh, than the sets that I've had. But another thing I found, Mana Regen 5. Mana Regen 5 pants. That is, oh, oh so nice. <laughs> oh so nice. Because it's going to help us regen this much faster. Our mana bar is going to regen. Like, oh, all of these are going to be really nice. That's definitely one that I really want since I am using this mod. So today's adventures were absolutely insane and uh, I can only imagine what's to come in this mod pack. But of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video and that, my friends, is going to be a huge thanks going to Jaden Fisher. Thank you so much for your amazing support over on Patreon. Of course, guys, if you are interested in becoming a Patreon yourself, you can find that linked down in the description below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Of course, if you did, be sure to click that subscribe button as we are so close to 500,000 subscribers. I can almost smell it, and I hope you can too. And guys, of course, give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy, as uh, you know that dislike button's gonna be leaving soon. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. That's a, that's a thing. Well, it's not gonna be leaving, but you're not gonna see it. You will see it, but you won't. Anyways, that's a thing. <laughs> But anyways, thank you so much. So be sure to give it a thumbs up. I, of course, will see you in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.